In this video, we are going to read Facebook user details uh, on the protected page and then update our parse uh, user record with those details. For example, if I go um, back to my um, parse users class and then I see that I have a new user here, which is a Facebook user who just logged in, but uh, there is no email address of this user and there is no first name of this user and there is no last name and there is no profile picture. So now let's uh, request this, let's read this uh, details from um, a user, Facebook user, and let's update our parse users object to make this um, sign in uh, a complete. So I'll go back to my um, Xcode and I'll open protected page because this is where user lands as soon as they are logged in. And I want to read all of these details in background. I don't want user who logged in to actually feel anything. So um, I'll do it in uh, view did load function. So when this view uh, will be loading, I will um, request um, I will send Facebook graph request to read these uh, parameters. And um, the um, parameters that uh, we want to request are ID, uh, email, first name, and last name. And I have actually prepared a few lines of code to speed up this video and to make it shorter. So we'll need to de declare a new array. It's actually not an array, it's, it's a dictionary that will have a key fields and it will have a value fields which are uh, comma delimited, they're separated with the comma, ID, email, first name, and last name. So this is what we are going to read from user's object. And then we want to uh, declare a new uh, object, which is going to be user details. And we will use Facebook FB SDK, I'm sorry, user FB SDK, and that's going to be graph request uh, to um, request these details from user. And we're looking for um, graph request with parameters, the very first one, this one. And the request parameters are our, uh, I mean, uh, the graph path is going to be simply me. We are, are reading this from the currently logged in user and the request parameters are uh, the array here, which we have just created. Uh, okay, and now we can actually send out this uh, request to start uh, to Facebook, and it's uh, the function is called start with completion handler. We hit on enter, and then we hit on enter again, and um, the first one is connection, um, and that's going to be, let's call it connection, connection, um, and this will be result, and this will be an error. Let's build it. Let's see if it's working. Yes. Okay, so it's called start with completion handler. And just like with previous uh, examples, we first we want to check if there is an error. And if there is uh, an error, if error is not equals to nil, then we want to uh, return. And we, uh, for our debugging purposes, we, we will simply print out an error object to see if there is an error object. Print run, uh, and that will be error localized description. Um, otherwise, if there is no error, we can uh, read um, details from result. So if we could before uh, working with the result um, object, we will check it if it's not nil. And uh, from there, we can start reading information uh, about the user. So uh, I will copy some code that I have prepared. Um, from this result object, we can read user ID using the key we have provided here, fields. So we're going to read user ID as string, and then we're going to read user first name, last name, 
and uh, email those fields that we have requested. Okay, so once these um, details are here, uh, we can uh, print out, uh, for example, one of them just for us uh, while we are coding to see if everything is working. For example, let's print email address and see if it's not Neil. It's actually called user email. Um, uh, but if everything is okay, then we are ready to uh, work with um, bars again. So we will instantiate a new object. It's called um, PF user object, and it's going to be current user who is currently logged in. And then we can uh, we will check each value. For example, if uh, first name is not Neil, uh, if first name is not Neil, then we will use we will set object, which is our we will set user first name for key first name into our parse. And this key first name comes from the parse. Let's look into our parse um, class we have keys first name and last name. So these are the keys we are going to set. First one, we are setting first name. So we say parse user, it's parse user, set object for key, first name, it's here, first name. And the value is going to be Facebook user's first name. And we will do the same thing for our last name. So I will copy this delete empty space and paste it here I will do the same for last name and I'll do the same for email address if email address is not Neil um, if email address is not Neil I will set it to a my user object and then I will um, also read users profile picture and the way you read a Facebook user profile picture is um, this. First, you compose a URL to user's profile picture. And the URL is this, HTTPS graph Facebook.com. And then it needs user ID, which is here, Facebook user ID. And then we have a picture. And then from that picture, we have uh, some types. If you look up into Facebook documentation, there are several types like square, picture or a large picture uh, in this case we want to have best picture that user have so I uh, will choose um, um, uh, large and then we want to create an SURL out of this string value um, so um, I will uh, so did not copy the, the value um, let's just type it let um, profile picture URL equals NS URL and that's going to be a string user profile okay so we want to create a URL and um, next we will um, request data for this URL so um, we will uh, create a new variable called profile picture data, which is going to be NS data contents of URL profile picture URL goes here. And then uh, it will start fetching data and we will check if data was downloaded successfully. Uh, we will check if profile picture data, if this profile picture is downloaded successfully and if it's not Neil, then we can create a new object Oh, a special type of parse file with this profile picture data and uh, it will be assigned to profile file object and then we will set this object into our parse user for key profile picture and this key again it come, goes from it should match profile picture column here in your parse users class profile picture so it's you, you set an image data here uh, and that should work um, but before we do it um, because we are going to download picture from um, um, Facebook we will need to dispatch an asynchronous task otherwise application will freeze uh, and uh, wait 
until picture is downloaded and it's not very good user behavior. So we'll dispatch an asynchronous task, which is going to be a global key, Q, uh, and put all of this code inside of our asynchronous task. Okay, so that will execute it into in a kind of background and user will not feel anything. And um, the next step for us is to once we have user object updated, we have first name set, last name set, email address set, and profile picture set, uh, we want to save it uh, in our parse um, cloud. So we'll go to uh, my user and then we will call function which is called save but we want to save it in background and we actually want it with the a block with the completion handler again so once um this complete once information is saved we will have a success or an error and uh here uh, we'll just like with the code above we can check for error and if error is um is there we can look at it but again because everything is happening in background user is not aware uh, we will not display any alert messages we will just for our debugging purposes check if this code works so if if success uh, we will print out a line uh, um, something like user details uh, are now updated uh, something like this so um, it's um let's build it to see if everything compiles well and uh, run this application to see if it works yes so everything is good so um now let's run and see how it works okay so we are locked out now and when i tap on sign in button uh, let me actually uh close this file open up um Oops, open up protected page view controller and I'll put a breakpoint just for us to see. I'll put breakpoint here and I'll put breakpoint inside of error to see if error happens and breakpoint here um, and I'll put breakpoint here. So let's tap on sign in button. We're taken to Facebook and we'll tap on OK and we're taken to protected page. Uh, so our first breakpoint is we are inside of did load so I'll just continue display it and we are now inside of completion handler so start with completion handler the result is not nil so we have some data let's continue let's scroll down here so we have user ID let's look for user ID here uh, user ID is not nil so we have a, a value proper very good value first name is populated first name is Sergey last name Kargopolov so everything so far so good email email address is here and we can print it out now yes so email address is printed out and we can continue so first name is set last name is set email address is set and we can play and now we started, uh, we went into our background to dispatch a synchronous task. Our profile picture is correct. So it's graphfacebook.com slash user ID. Uh, go into profile picture and we'll start downloading. It's not new. And it says, so I will just play it. Everything should be well. Now I will turn off debugger. Uh, and let's actually first look at our uh, parse uh, uh, users object. Let's see if it's updated. It was empty and then now I will refresh. The first name is not here, last name is not here. So I will refresh it, see if that is here. Yes, the first name is now updated, last name is updated and profile picture is updated. So if I click on file here, it will download profile users profile picture and I'll be able to see it. And I can um, st stop this application and run again to see how it works without the debugging sign in okay and we are on the protected page so everything is working we can sign out and um, um, yeah the application works and um, 
I hope this video was helpful and you can use this um, code and uh, details to integrate Facebook iOS SDK into your application and implement Facebook sign-in and sign-out uh, with uh, Parse as well.